Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these old gloomy, dark days of unrest. Well, friend, uh, I've got a lot on my heart this morning. Uh, many of our school systems, uh, they're having to close down and go into virtual teaching right now. It seems like uh, the pandemic is beginning to grow again. I know my son called me yesterday and said that uh, the school system that he works for uh, will begin virtual learning soon. Uh, because many of the teachers uh, have COVID and they can't find uh, substitute teachers. And I know that the Valdosta school system, uh, the city school system, I believe, has already went into virtual learning. Friend, we need to be praying for those teachers. Uh, much on my heart about that this morning. Let's pray for those teachers. Let's continue to pray for the first responders that's having to deal with this as well. Uh, and let's pray that God will uh, soon allow this disease to subside. Uh, today, uh, God led me to a scripture over in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter, I believe it's chapter number 9. Yes, it is chapter number 9. I want us to look at verse number 15. The Bible says here, Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. You know this time of year, we really get into gift giving and I suppose uh, that tradition started, uh, especially with the uh, wise men that brought gifts to the young child, Jesus. And so that tradition has carried on and uh, we uh, give gifts. But you know, whenever you get to thinking about gifts, there is one gift that God gave to us the Bible says here that it's not a describable gift. It's a gift that uh, I've been preaching for 40 years. Uh, and uh, I've not even scratched the surface. Uh, Jesus is a beautiful gift. And whenever we look at that gift and the gift that he offers us, uh, my friend, we're so blessed. No wonder that Paul said, thanks be unto God. We all ought to thank God that he loved us so much. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. His only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The greatest gift ever given. And given because God loved us so much. Friend, I know the times may seem dark and dreary right now. But a beautiful light came into the world. And friend, uh, that light came to take away the sin of the world. But yet man continues to carry on in his ungodly nature. But yet God still stands with open arms saying, Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That's how much uh, God loves us. You know, in life, many times I've got aggravated with people. People can aggravate you. I know some of you probably looking real spiritual right now. And uh, I probably aggravated someone myself. Uh, people can aggravate you. And I just don't know how God could have a heart 
to put up with us sometimes, but yet he does. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. I wish that I could tell you more about him, but I can tell you that he loved you so much that he went to the cross of Calvary just for you. And friend, he died there. But praise God, three days later, up from the grave, he arose. And now he's sitting at the right hand of his father, making intercession for you and I. So he still loves us. And friends, it's going to be that wonderful love and the light of Christ that carries us through these dark times. You know, this time of year, you can ride around your communities and you'll find many beautiful Christmas lights. I've been by some homes that they were just immaculate with the lights hanging and brightly shining. Well, friends, every time I see those lights, I think about Jesus being the light of the world. And you know, he tells us that when we get to know him, that we too are lights. And friends, if we'll just all get together and let our light shine for the glory of God through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we can dispel some of this darkness. I pray that uh, this verse of scripture may have encouraged you uh, today. His gift is great. His gift is everlasting life to whosoever will come to him. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.